fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and uh, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you league? So, <sighs> before we get into this video, I want y'all to know something. This is about the LGBTQ community, and this is the transgender part of it. I want to say this in the beginning. Just because we're in the same community does not mean I'm knowledgeable of all things that goes on in the community. But that also does not mean that I am biased to uh, or, you know, not aware of uh, some of the things that are happening in our community. But I want to put out there that there's no judgment here. I haven't even watched the video yet, but the title is Trans Woman Confesses to Living with Her Boyfriend and Parents for Three Months and None of Them Knew She Was Trans. Okay, so we're gonna get into this video. This is uh, it's been popular for the past few days, so let's get it. I lived with my boyfriend and his parents for three months, and none of them knew that I was transgender. I'm gonna tell you how she found out. So, basically, here's a little background on me. Um, I started transitioning when I was a teenager, and you know, I went through all glitz and glam. Um, I met my boyfriend here in New York, and you know, he was staying in Buffalo, but so number one. Like, everybody don't say I'm trans, and but I changed the bottom part, right? So, like, I don't know if you can just fully change the bottom part, but I just think it's crazy for some men not to know or some women not to know. It's like, are you fully into all of me? You know what I'm saying? Because how wouldn't you know? Unless a person is like, uh-uh, don't touch right there. Uh-uh, don't touch right there. You know, I don't know. But, he but she does look amazing. New York. Homeless. Um, I met him outside. We eventually ended up getting together, and he told me that he was going to move back in with his parents, and he would love for me to come with. So I went, and I didn't tell him, yo, I'm trans. He introduced me to his mom. He introduced me to his dad. I met a few of his siblings. And, um, you know, I was even laying in the bed. There are times that I was like, showering and my mom would come in. Yo, where is music coming from? And, uh, and nobody had a clue. So one day I asked to use my phone. And um, my phone was not working, so I logged into my Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. I have one for people that I know and another for people that I don't. So I ended up forgetting to log out. And his mom went to use her phone after me. And the next day when I woke up, I just found her acting really funny. She was acting really strange. She loves me or loved me. But then she started acting very standoffish, almost like you betrayed me. Like you could see the look in her eye. Let me ask y'all a question for the people in the comments. Do you look at it as betrayal? Like if, uh, <clears throat> if a person don't tell you what's going on, you know what I'm saying, in their life of them, you know, whatever sexuality, you know, they are. Do you think that is wrong when a person finds out? Do you think a person should be upset that, that the person did not tell the truth? So, you know, I finally decide that I've had enough with attention and I want to ask her what's really good. Like what's happening? What's going on? What's beef? So she's like, um, you logged into my phone last night. Do you know what you left on there? I said, no, nothing. I should have logged out. And she said, I went to your page and I watched your videos. I said, what videos? She says, of your transition. You didn't tell us. So then she's like, uh, I would have been scared as hell. I'm not going to lie. I would have been scared as hell. You were around my kids. You were around my grandkids. You were around my nieces and nephews. Why didn't you tell me this? I said, ma'am, listen, 
you make it seem like I'm a threat to the public safety or something. I'm a regular girl, but I knew if I would have said something that I would be labeled otherwise and I would be dehumanized and treated funny. That's why I didn't say nothing. She said, well, you got to get up and help clean up. You know what? If you're going to be living here, you got to help clean up. She started getting real, like, like, you know, snappy. So I'm like, I'm just going to pack my things and go because I know that's the next thing you're going to say. She said, yeah. Does my son know? I said, no. Nah. She said, you know what? We're going to keep it between us, but you got to go. Damn. Said, okay. So what did I do? I packed my stuff and I left. I wasn't going to play with her. What? Hold on. What's up with you two? This nigga in his buttermilk skin, nice dread looking self, always got some pictures or something. Because I just seen it on his thumbnail because I don't know her... Do y'all know her Instagram name or TikTok name? I don't even know her TikTok name. We need the next part. It's another part to it. I don't think it's another part, friend. She said she left and that was it. She just left. Yeah. Y'all, that's crazy. I listen. What I will say is her getting the hell up out of there and shout out to the mama for not telling her son. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that make the mama just as bad because now you lying to the son too. But I would have had to tell the son after she left because you know, he probably would have been ready to, you know, fight. You know what I'm saying? And just because you are trans don't mean you're going to beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? As in, uh, just if a man think a trans can't fight, you got life fucked up. So he probably, she probably would have beat his ass and everything. <laughs> but either way, I don't need both of y'all fighting in my house. I ain't even going to let him know. Just get the hell out. You know what I'm saying? And then after she gone down the road, you know, I could tell my son, like, yo, I'm sorry, but, you know, you just messing with a trans. Um, But I think that she's a beautiful woman. I mean, and from this picture that Carlos have on his shit, she was rather curvy. Rather curvy. Okay? Definitely can't tell if... uh she's trans or not so you know i think the mom did the best that she could with dealing with what she was given you know what i'm saying and i just would just be honest man i know and granted you know if i'm not in that situation i wouldn't know how hard it is i'm not saying that i don't also just because i'm in the lgbtq community does not mean i know everything because i don't and i'm not being insensitive to anybody's feelings either you know it's just one of them situations that you just kind of got to be there to, uh, you know, you got to be there or be that person to know how to deal with it. So that's all I'm going to say, man. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.